Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm uh, here to dance on the Sistandinaga 24th annual powwow. Welcome. People come out here and dance. They're honoring our mother, the earth. My name is Brian Isaacs. I come from China and Aga. I'm a Mohawk Indian. I wear an Aguala Sioux headdress because it's what gets attention. My headdress is the one that's over there on the chair. See, this is our headdress. And this is over 800 years ago. Before the Roman. Because we had, we were woodland Indians, and one of the things about woodland Indians, you make good on it, all you got, because as you look at the ground, there's a lot of sticks and everything, but that's why we do shop. Shop. The word shop. Because you get all your elements you need from the earth. Because the barks have medicine in it. It's aspirin. You've heard that word before? Yeah. Okay. Well, now you know. <laughs> Very solid tree. But the hard thing is that people don't cherish the things they got. And um, what I'm saying to you guys is you got to learn to cherish every moment you have with your people and your friends. The only thing is that we have so much pride in what we do. And that's one thing I'm going to give you. Even in your own country, you can have pride. And that's what I'm trying to say. So if you can learn to be proud of who you are, what you are, and where you are, that's what's going to make you happy. And accept everybody for their difference. That's one thing I can tell you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. ceremony and the Sundance ceremony. I pray for all the people with diabetes and heart problems and cancer and, and alcohol problems and drug problems and people with... I just prayed for a little girl up in Kingston, Ontario here. She was born 15 ounces and she's still alive today. And she, her dad hold her in her hand like this way. It's just so small. And I hope that, and she's still alive today, and I pray for her, and I, I, uh, so son, I went there bargain, I smoke my pipe, and my, my, uh, my pipe, his name is Anochewese, and that's my grandfather's name, is Shikazu, that's my grandfather, and, uh, Ojibwe, my, my dad's Ojibwe, Anochewese means something you hear at night, but you can't see it. My mom is a Cree, and uh, Nochewese and Cree means yellow eyes. And uh, an owl 
has yellow eyes, a wolf has yellow eyes, and the eagle has yellow eyes. That's where I come from. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Canadian native artist. Um, I think that Aboriginal children today uh, would have a benefit of following our tradition is uh, by taking on the ceremonies, the sweat lodges. Uh, my daughter, she has part time in school, so she intends to follow the traditional ceremonies. Uh, myself, I was in a foster home in the 1950s. Uh, I was put in a Masonic temple home, which is a Freemason. And I was sexually abused there. So when I came back to this way of life, I was around 14. So I started as a, a young boy, and my life was threatened to be killed by these non-native people. And uh, what happened was I went looking for the spirit of my people. I tell the people is bring our children home because there's a lot of gangs out there from east to west and a lot of children are lost. Right now it's time for them to come home because there's going to be a lot of devastation coming in the future. The way the environment is, the way people are being trained just to kill and hurt one another. This is not God's wishes. God was asked to, we come here, take care of this earth, take care of our children and the next generation. And this is what I have to share with uh, young Aboriginal people around this country is come back home, learn your teachings from your elders because it's most important. When we, we were almost losing this, but we came back home. As in a foster home, if the white people would tell us, well, your blood is different than ours. I'm sure our DNA is really different. We survived smallpox and all sorts of diseases, so our DNA can fight anything, basically. And what to throw at us, the government has already tried to do population control on our own Aboriginal people right across this board. So we're prepared to stand up and follow with our traditions and watch our children grow in a healthy way. I'm McDonald and I'm known as White Feather for the Mohawk Territory. This is where I'm originally from. Um, I don't live here no more, but I, this is still where I live part time doing powwows. And I, and I wish to all the young young ones out there, teenagers, to come out and see how we how we live and see how the dancers learn our tradition. And you have a great great fun out here in powwow days. And we also have other things too. So if you're interested, you know, you okay. come out and see how we do things and see how. People dance and learn to dance. Well, my name is Simon Nelson. And where are you from? Uh, from Curve Lake. What do you wish young people? Well, I wish the young people would get out. Hi, everybody. And, uh, this is Noelle. Oh my God. And and she's going to see you for uh, ten years old. Get into and she won a uh, uh, couple of national singing contests uh, in Canada. And she's continuing to meet a lot of yeah. friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Young people well need to uh, find a direction, and their direction is uh, the culture and whatever they're into. Mm -hmm. But to uh, keep up their uh, <coughs> keep up their, uh, their gifts, such as music, sports, whatever they're into, and to stay away from uh, the drugs, you know, and uh, keep doing what they are gifted at doing and don't let anybody uh, drag them down and you know, come to a powwow. You know, enjoy it. Thank you so much.
Where are you from? Me? Ma Ottawa. See, you are Mohawk. Yes, I am. And uh, what would you wish to young people? Well, to learn the experience of life and be honest with people in life. That's what is most important. Take me down. What's your name? Nikki Jacobs. Michael Jacobs. And where are you from? Tennessee. And uh, what would you like to wish to young people? That they um, find their purpose in life and then pursue that with uh, all their passion and do it well. That's it. Um, may I just be good to everybody? Be nice. Too many people are too self absorbed these days. Uh, what is the message of your music and your dance? Uh, the message of my—I have lots of different messages of my music. Some of it's about uh, social justice. Some of it's about the environment, uh, about relationships, about uh, wholeness, being being healthy in a, in a good way, and in, in your spirit, in your heart, and uh, about relationships. But did I say that already? You might have said that. I might have said that already. <laughs> Thank you. For my dance. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. My name is Wilma Van Wart. My spirit name is Running Water, Star of the Morning. I have to remember that. Um, I was adopted by a family in Curve Lake. I now live in Colburn, Ontario. And for all you young girls, believe in yourselves. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do anything that you put your mind to, because you can. You just need the heart and the drive to do it. That's what happened to me. Thank you so much. This was amazing. <laughs> Today. How are you? Hi, I'm wonderful. Fine, happy. Uh, just helping my wife here again, looking so beautiful as she is. Uh, everything's good? And you? Good, good. <laughs> Power ever. And the Naiga.